Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to build my hidden triple piston lift. So we come right over here to this block. I had to make it a different color or else I would have forgotten where it was. We're going to go ahead and place a redstone torch right here. And as you can see our triple piston lift opens up down here. And then we have a nice little secret room which I have to pay homage to my FedEx god. Which is just a little moose of me. So let's go ahead and provide our redstone moose with some redstone. So I'll go ahead and give him my redstone torch. Which I'm actually going to need later but who cares. And then when we're ready we just go over here and stand right underneath where this nice little hole is click the button and we'll triple piston extend our way back up and then we could grab this torch and we could go ahead and use it again i forgot that i was going to need my torch once again so let's go ahead and get an outside view of our triple piston butted lift as you can see there's nothing really to it guys all it is is a triple piston with a butted block above it so if i click this button right here bend it down and if I click it again, it will extend up. And also on top is our butted area. So if we put a redstone torch here, it will go down. And then if we put it back, it will go up. Now, the reason why it stays down like this is because I wanted to make it so if you went down into your butted area, you can go inside of here, take out your redstone or whatever you have inside of here. And as you can see, it will extend up and the button will no longer work. And outside here, this will no longer work as well. As you can see, nothing is happening. That's in case you don't want people coming inside. So if we go ahead and put our item back inside, everything should start working again. So I'm going to go ahead and place my redstone back in here. And as you can see, the lift starts working once again. So let's go ahead and start building this thing, guys. All right, guys. So for this build, we're going to need a five by six spacing and we're also going to have to dig down at least seven now the reason why i put some black blocks right over here is because this is mainly where all the redstone is going to be going this little two wide area right here is just for our mono stable button so we can activate our piston lift from the inside and right here is just where it's going to be letting out so don't worry about that guys so just remember it's a five by six spacing and you also have to dig down at least seven now for this build, we are going to need five sticky pistons, one piston, one redstone comparator, seven redstone repeaters, seven redstone torches, 10 redstone dust, a button, a lever. We are also going to need a furnace and one piece of sand and some blocks to put our redstone down on. I'm going to be using lime stained clay and orange stained clay. And then my blocks of choice are going to be smooth sandstone. So once you've gotten your five by six spacing and you have dug down your seven, come to the bottom left hand corner and count over three blocks. One two three and then right off this block we're gonna go ahead and put up three sticky pistons one two three like that and then you can go ahead and put your block of choice on top of there but right now i don't have mine up i'm just gonna go ahead and do all the redstone so once you've gotten your three sticky pistons in like this we're gonna go ahead and put a block next to it a block away from it and put a piece of redstone in the middle of these two blocks like that Next, go ahead and put a block right on top of your redstone. Then go ahead and put a repeater going into this sticky piston on two ticks delay. Then behind this block, we're going to go ahead and put a repeater going in here on one tick delay. Now, if you've noticed, this is one of my older triple piston extenders. However, it didn't work anymore. So all I did was just change around the repeaters, guys, and it still works fantastically. So then on the other side of this block, we're going to come right back over here. And we're going to put a torch coming off the side of this block next to this sticky piston. Put a repeater coming out of this torch on four ticks delay. As you see, that's a different tick right there. We're going to put a block up right in front of it with some redstone dust on top of it next put a block above this on torch right here and then put a torch coming off the side of it like that and that's going to create a monostable circuit because we, all we need is a short pulse right here next we're going to put a block up right in front of this redstone dust like this and we're going to put a torch right above it and a torch to the side of it then coming from this off torch on the side we're going to come over three blocks one two three and then come up two blocks right here one two then going into this block right here towards the sticky piston, we're going to go ahead and throw down three repeaters. One, two, three. The first two are going to be on four ticks delay, and the last one's going to be on two ticks delay. Next, what I want you to do is put a piece of redstone dust right in front of it on top of this block like that. And then we're going to put a block right to the side of it like so. Next, what I want you to do is right above this off torch right here that is going into our monostable circuit, we're going to put a block right above it and put a repeater going into this block on three ticks delay. Next, right on top of this block, we're going to go ahead and put a torch here, put a block above the torch, and then put a torch going off the side of it towards the sticky piston. The sticky piston should extend and retract really fast. So oop, as you see, it extended and retracted. Next, what I want you to do is take out your blocks of choice. I'm going to be using a smooth sandstone as mine. And we're going to put a block of choice right above this off torch and a block of choice right above your sticky pistons. Once you got your block of choices in, come down right over here to where this one tick delay repeater is. 
put a block right behind it with redstone dust on top of it now we can go ahead and test out to make sure our triple piston extender is working so we'll go ahead and take out your lever and we're going to place a lever right off of this block right here and we're going to flip it down and this should triple piston extend up making it flush with your surface so flip down the lever and as you see a triple piston extends all the way up making it flush with the surface so flip it up and as you can see it will retract all the way down beautiful so i'm going to do it one more time flip it down and it should extend all the way up and then flip it back up and it should retract all the way down beautiful Next, we're going to be doing is our budded entrance for our triple piston lift. So what I want you to do is come right down here and the block right above this off torch. We're going to put a block right behind it and then put a sticky piston facing upwards off the side of the block right here, just like that. And we can go ahead and delete this block. Then right above this sticky piston, you're going to go ahead and put your block of choice. This is the block you will be able to see and where we'll be placing down our redstone torch when everything is said and done. Then coming off the front of our block, we're going to go ahead and put a furnace right here. I like putting the furnace backwards so you can't see the front of the furnace. So I usually like going like this with it backwards, like that beautiful. So this is what it will look like from the inside of your build. And we're going to go inside our furnace and place one item inside our furnace. You can put whatever you want in here. I usually go with redstone or dirt, mostly dirt. Dirt's the easiest thing to get a hold of. Then right off the side of this piston, we're going to go ahead and put a block right here and then put a comparator coming out of the block. Now this comparator should pick up the signal from your furnace next we're going to go ahead and put a block right in front of our comparator by going like this just go ahead and put a block right in front of it and then put a redstone torch coming off the back of it this torch should go off now i forgot to say this at the beginning guys we are going to need a detector rail for this build i completely forgot about it so i'm sorry about that but then right next to this off torch we're going to come right over here and we're going to pretty much just come down a block from this off torch and put a sticky piston right here so it should look something like that see how the sticky piston is one block down from our redstone torch next what we're going to do is come out four blocks from underneath our sticky piston so one two three four leading all the way over to this sticky piston facing upwards then we're gonna go ahead and put a piece of redstone dust down here right next to the sticky piston and put your detector rail in front of your sticky piston like that once you've gotten your detector rail in, go ahead and take out your lever so make sure you do get your lever from back over here it was just to test it in the beginning but now we are actually going to need our lever i'm going to come right over here to where our redstone dust is and we're going to put our lever down right here and then just flip down the lever so this redstone dust is on forever and as you can see our budded switch already activated so if i put a redstone torch on on top of it it will push down and pull back the block but now we have to add in the little section so it will reactivate our bud switch so to add in your button all you need to do is come off this block right here that has your comparator on top of it and we're gonna come out two blocks one two put a piece of redstone dust going into this block and then put a repeater going into this redstone dust just like this and then we're gonna go ahead and put a piston facing upwards off the backhand side of that block and then put a sand block off the top of your piston like so then we're going to swing back over here put a block next to your piston once again put a piece of redstone dust here and then go ahead and put some smooth sandstone or whatever blocks you're going to be using here i'm going to be using smooth sandstone just like this and then where the redstone dust is we're going to go ahead and put a button on this side so if i flip the button as you can see our bud switch will reactivate for the bottom area so now all we have left to do is just hook our bud switch up to our triple piston lift so all we have to do is just come right back here to where our torch is and we're going to go ahead and put a block right here next to our piston and then a block down next to this redstone dust like so and then just hook in these two pieces of redstone dust up to here so one two and now our butt switch should be hooked up to our triple piston lift so i go ahead and place a piece of redstone dust here or a tail arch it really doesn't matter as you see our lift will go down and if i place it back on top of it our lift will go up however once we're down there we're not going to really be standing up here going like this over and over again but you are completely done guys so now all you have to do is just fill in this little area so you don't see any of your redstone go ahead and fill up this area except for the area that's going to be extending up of course so we're going to go ahead and put a block here and then just keep this little whole area open up and we're going to fill in this whole entire area and then down here we can go ahead and fill all this in right here here fill all of this in like that and beautiful we should be completely done so if i click this button right here our lift will retract down and then if we stand right inside the middle we can go ahead and click our button again and we'll go right back up and then of course we want to hide this area right here so we don't see down here wherever you have your secret stuff so we're gonna go ahead and fill this all in and i'm gonna you know uh I'm going to forget where this is. I know I'm going to forget where this is, so I'm going to just change the block real quick. And then we can go ahead and fill this whole entire area in as well. So if you are going to make this and pretty much put it over grass or something, just remember where you put it, guys, because this can be confusing. See how the, even with this white block right here, it's kind of confusing. But if we go ahead and place some redstone dust here, as you can see, it will reach up and close it. And if we place it on top of it like that, it should open up. We can go down here and then you can do whatever you want down here, guys. Usually I like coming down right here 
with a slab or something so you have a three high ceiling instead of a two high ceiling because for some reason in minecraft i hate it when you can pretty much hit your head right on top of it like this so i'm gonna go ahead and place some slabs in right here like that and that is it guys you are completely done so if you click this button right here we can go ahead and leave our secret area so we go up and then of course if we want to go back down there we just place a piece of redstone dust or a torch it really doesn't matter and we can go back down into our secret area and then if you want to you can go ahead and take your item out of your furnace like this and then people won't be able to come down here while you're down here however you want to set this thing up guys but all you have to do is go ahead and put your item back in and then everything is should reactivate but there you guys have it that's how you build my hidden triple piston lift if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace